Right, some of the feedback I've had on the channel is people want to see more of the antennas that I use when I'm out portable. So this is a M1 ECC slide winder coil. I've showed you this before. Last time you saw it, I used it on the uh, roof of my car and I was actually impressed with how well it worked. I did it with the uh, Moonraker MRQ213, which is a telescopic whip. And uh, after that video, Dave from M1 ECC Antennas, the manufacturers of this coil said, why don't you stick our military whip on it? So I said, okay, I'll buy it, I'll spend some money. And uh, I paid the uh, same rate as anyone else would have paid, so no sponsorship deals on this. So there is the mill whip, which uh, obviously um, folds out and extends, goes on top of your uh, coil, spike to go in the ground. I've just used an old ground rod here, which I've uh, cut down and um, put a bracket on the end there. And a counterpoise wire. Now, this will perform better if you use multiple radials, but I'm going for lightweight here. I'm looking in the context of uh, SOTA, backpacking, that sort of thing. So I want to keep the weight down and make it as quick to set up as possible. So I'm just going with one counterpoise wire and that basically is your antenna all held in one hand. Just add a little bit of coax and your radio, you're good to go. So let's uh, very quickly set this up. So I screw the uh, coil into my uh, base there. Got quite a long thread on it. There we go, it doesn't need to be majorly tight. Then I'll uh, stick my uh, military whip on there. Oops. There we go. Then I just need to shove that in the ground, connect my coax and my radio, jobs are good and we're good to go. Okay, so my setup then literally took me less than a minute. So I've got the uh, spike in the ground down there, loading coil, which you tune by sliding that ring up and down, and military whip on the top there. And uh, you can see it down here, counterpoise wire, single counterpoise wire just comes out. I've thrown that somewhere in those bushes and a bit of RG58 goes into my little bunker. I'm going to be operating down here because it's quite windy, so uh, get myself out of the wind. But we're going old school today with the ICOM 703. So uh, let's tune it up, get a spot on the SOTA website and see how many contacts we make with it. CQ SOTA, CQ SOTA, CQ Summit's on the air from Mike Zero, Golf Quebec, Charlie Portable. M0 GQC Portable, calling CQ SOTA from Golf Delta Charlie 007 Watchcraft, calling CQ, standing by for any calls. Lima, uh, ending Mike. Sierra Alpha 4, Bravo Lima Mike. Sierra Alpha 4, Bravo Lima Mike, a very good morning to you, 5 9. Roger, good morning, thanks for the 5 and 9. Your report is 5 and 3, 5 3, 5 and 3, 7 3, thanks. Roger, Roger, thank you for the 5373 and thank you for the contact. Uh, ending India Charlie. Oscar Echo 1, Papa India Charlie, thank you very much. A lot of uh, context QRM, you're 5 9 in the clear. QSL, QSL, thank you for the 4473. Oscar, Mexico, Uniform Alpha. Uh, Oscar, Mexico, something Uniform Alpha. Roger, Roger, Oscar, November 3, Uniform Alpha. Very good morning, my friend. Uh, difficult to with, uh, with, uh, but you are uh, five inside, five inside, Roger. QSL, QSL, got the 5-5, five, five. you're 5-9, five, 5-9 nine. Five, nine in the clear, a lot of contest QRM, go ahead. Roger, 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 thank you very much for the Delta Charlie 007, a new one, 73, good soda, bye-bye. Thank you very much, my friend, 7-3, QRZ. Mike, Echo Alpha 2, Echo Victor Mike. Uh, Echo Alpha 2, was that Echo Victor Mike? Echo Alpha 2, Echo Victor Mike. 
Roger, Roger. Echo Alpha 2, Echo Victor, Mike 59. Okay, James. Okay, 55, five, 55. Five. My report 55. Five. Thank you very much for the contact shot again. Roger, 5-5, five, five. thank you very much, my friend, 7-3, QRZ. Okay, so unfortunately, I chose to do this on a weekend where there's a lot of contest QRM, but, I mean, that's the four, contact, uh, four contacts on 40 metres. I think what we're probably better to do is uh, go up to maybe uh, one of the work bands that's probably 17 metres and give that a go. Uh, summit to summit. Uh, summit to summit, go ahead. Mike Zero Golf Oscar Charlie Stroke Portable. Here is uh, Yankee Oscar 5 India Alpha Portable activating Yankee Oscar Stroke Whiskey Charlie 112. Activating Yankee Oscar Stroke Whiskey Charlie 112. Okay, I've got Yankee Oscar Whiskey Charlie 112. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, QSB there. I didn't quite catch the call sign there. Yankee Oscar, question mark, go again. Roger, Roger, Yankee Oscar 5, Italy, America, throw portable. Yankee Oscar 5, Italy, America, throw portable, QSL. QSL, QSL, got you there. Uh, Yankee Oscar 5, Italy, America, portable from Mike Zero, Golf, Quebec, Charlie, portable. Uh, you're about a 5 5, 55, over. Thank you for 5 5 5, thank you for 5 5 5, and Mihail. Uh, you faded into the QSB there. QSB, I didn't catch all of that. You're 5555. I'm on Golf Delta Charlie 007. Golf Delta Charlie 007. QSL. Mike Zero Golf Quebec Charlie Portable. This is Yankee Oscar 5, Mexico, Canada, Mexico Portable. On the same time, QSL. Sierra Victor 2, Sierra Oscar Quebec. Uh, Sierra Victor 2, Sierra Oscar Quebec, I think that was. Uh, about 5-3, 5-3. Uh, Sierra Victor 2, Sierra Oscar Quebec, you faded into the uh, QSB, I think I heard 5-5, five, five. was it 5-5, five, five, Roger? Thank you for 5-5, thank you for 5-5, you have 53-5-3, QSL? QSL, QSL the 5-3, just confirm the call sign, I've got Sierra Victor 2, Sierra Oscar Quebec, is that correct, over? Thank you very much, my friend. 7-3, QRZ. Uh, Sierra Victor 2, Oscar something Sierra. Uh, Sierra Victor 2, Oscar X-Ray Sierra, 5-3, uh, 53. Right, so I'm just packing up, and there's one thing that was shown to me about this antenna you need to watch out for. In this... In the base section here, there is a spring, and if I hold it up close to my mic and uh, extend it slightly, you might just be able to hear that, uh, hear the spring inside. That is connected to a piece of string that goes all the way up to the tip of the antenna, and that's what compresses the antenna and uh, stops it falling apart. That's what holds it together. Now, when you pack this up, when you fold this antenna up, you need to fold it up from the tip end not the base end because uh, otherwise what will happen is the string will um, kink on these joins and it'll actually snap the uh, string if you pull it too hard so uh, that's one thing you do need to watch out for when packing this up now in terms of performance i have to say i chose to do this on a weekend where uh, there's um, a lot of contest activity on a lot of high power contest stations and um, it doesn't matter what antenna or radio you use if you're only running a uh, 10 watts like i am you are going to get swamped so it it's not the fairest test for this antenna but 
That said, I did make eight contacts in 15 minutes and I did uh, activate a SOTA. And for something that you can carry up so, you know, nice and easily, for something that small, it's, I'd say it's a good antenna. Um, is it a compromise? Yes, absolutely. Most portable antennas are. You know, it's you can't get away from the laws of physics. It's only, I can't remember if it's two and a half or three meters long, but um, it's not a full size antenna. So yes, it is going to be a compromise. But like I say, if you're looking for something quick, easy to carry up a SOTA Summit, and you can set up really quickly and easily, this could be the uh, solution. Okay, so some of the feedback I've had on the channel is people want to see portable antennas. Uh, oops.